Hey, everyone. Welcome back to WP Design Lab, where we bring you the latest and greatest in WordPress tips and tricks. Today, I've got something truly special for you. We'll be diving into how to add the Stories 3D Effect Timeline feed in WordPress. And the best part, we're using a free plugin that you can download from my GitHub. How cool is that? You can easily add this kind of amazing story timeline feed, as you are currently viewing on the screen. Alright, here we are in our WordPress dashboard. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to my GitHub page, link in the description below, to grab the free plugin we'll be using today. It's super easy, just hit that download button. Next go to your plugin section, click on add new, and then hit the upload plugin button. Choose the file you just downloaded, and click install now. Upon activation, a new story post type will become available on your WordPress dashboard, allowing you to add story posts. In the plugin settings, you will discover various short codes to showcase the story grid on your live page. I am currently using the Astra theme with Elementor. I will demonstrate how to incorporate the short code into an Elementor page and customize the background settings of the story's timeline feed. The background color must be set to dark. Here, you can include a story item that will populate the page section where I placed the default short code for the grid feed. Let's include a few story items and preview the page to see how it appears on the live page. The key components of each story tab include the title, a short description, a featured image, and the date of the story in a custom field.
Check out this stunning story timeline feed. It's interactive, engaging, and it adds that extra flair to your website. Imagine your visitors scrolling through captivating stories right on your page. You also have the option to utilize different short code attributes if you need to specify the number of posts to display and the order of this feed. A notable advantage is that this timeline feed is entirely responsive and performs effectively on mobile devices with small screen sizes. Please keep in mind that when adding this short code in Elementor, be sure to choose a darker background for that section. Otherwise, on a white background, design elements such as lines or fonts related to the timeline may not be visible on the page. I will soon be updating the plugin to include more design options for this add-in. Follow me on GitHub for future updates. That concludes today's video. I trust this tutorial will assist you in seamlessly incorporating a card or story display on your website. If you found this video helpful, don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and drop any questions in the comments section. Subscribe for more WordPress tips and tricks, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.